Hi, this is Kim Kohler from Emerging Creatively Tutorials, and this is ECT TV episode 59. These are the tools and materials that you'll need for this necklace. So you'll need some 22 gauge half hard round wire, and then you'll need some beads. Um, so I'm making a spring necklace, so I'm going to be using some spring colored flower beads, um, pink, and I have a purple one as well, and I have a little leaf, and then I'm also going to use a couple butterfly beads. You can use charms or anything like that that you like um, that you can add. They don't have to be beads. You maybe have some butterfly charms or something like that. You will also need some chain um, as long as you want your necklace to be is how long of a piece of chain you'll need. And you'll need a toggle clasp. You can use any toggle clasp you like. I'm just using this little one. Um, but you need to keep in mind that we'll be using the toggle clasp as kind of the focal point and you will need to be able to get your jump rings around the, t the toggle clasp, the circle part of the clasp. So just keep that in mind. And then you also will need jump rings for however many beads you're going to be using as well as to add your toggle clasp to your chain. And then I'm going to be using a couple head pins because I'm going to be making these two butterflies, which are beads, and they are top drilled beads. Um, so I'm going to make them into charms, or bead dangles is what I like to call it. My other beads, these two floral beads here, are actually side drilled beads. So I'm going to show you how to wire wrap side drilled beads with this 22 gauge wire. Um, but any beads that you're using that are top drilled, you can use as bead dangles um, with head pins. You can make your own head pins if you like, or I'm just going to use um, purchased uh, head pins that are already made for me. And then the tools you'll need are wire cutters, round nose pliers, chain nose pliers, and then bent nose pliers or another pair of flat chain nose, that sort of pliers, um, that's just to open and close the jump rings. So if you don't have actual bent nose pliers, then you could use a second pair of chain nose pliers. So I'm going to start by cutting six inches of wire. This is the 22 gauge wire. And depending on the size of your bead, you might need more wire than that. Um, as you can see, this is just a little bead, so it doesn't take a ton of wire. If you have a large bead, you might need a little bit more. So I just slid the bead onto the wire, and so now you can see it's side drilled. And then I'm just centering it on the wire. And now we're just going to cross the two wires across each other, and we're going to have them cross right at the top of this bead, right in the center, and then just twist it one time. In fact, I just twist it half a time. So not even all the way around. If you feel more secure, you can go all the way around. And now I'm going to grab my round nose pliers. I have a tip for using round nose pliers um, for making all of your wire wrapped loops the same size throughout your project. Just take a sharpie and make a mark on your round nose pliers. It doesn't really matter where you put the mark, just as long as you use it throughout your project so all your loops are the same. Um, the sharpie will not be permanent on your pliers. It will wear off eventually. Um, so you have to redo it quite often, but it's helpful when you're making a project and you want all your loops to be the same. So now hold one of the wires in your round nose pliers, and you're going to hold it just above where you just made that twist. And you're going to pull the wire around your round nose pliers, forming a loop. And then take your round nose pliers out and grab your chain nose pliers. And now if this loop is crooked, we want it straight above the bead. 
Um, so we can just fix that. How I do it is I hold the loop in my chain nose pliers, I wrap around once, and as I'm doing that, I just straighten out the bead part underneath and make sure it's straight. So now I'm just going to switch hands and wrap with my other hand. If you feel more comfortable, you could use another pair of pliers. And I'm just going to start wrapping around, and I'm just very carefully wrapping each wrap under the first one, because I'm, I want to wrap also around the very top of the bead because of the shape of the bead. And as it gets a little shorter, I'm just going to grab my bent nose pliers to make the final wrap. And now with this other wire, we're just going to go around, usually it goes in the other direction, but you can kind of go whichever way the wire kind of wants you to go, if that makes sense. It will make sense when you're actually doing it probably. And just go over top, again, very carefully around. You could even just kind of do this by hand without holding it in your pliers. And just go around and now um, we're just going to trim off the excess wire making a flush cut so that's using the back of your wire cutters the flat side just trimming off the excess wire and now I'm just using my chain nose pliers to make sure the ends are not poking out And just make sure everything is straight. So make sure this loop is straight over top. Sometimes it gets a little crooked. And that is all there is to it. So then repeat this process for however many beads you're going to use in your necklace. I am going to be using three. So now I have those two butterfly beads that are uh, top drilled, so I'm going to make them into bead dangles. So I've shown you how to do this several times on ECT TV, but I'll show you again. So I'm just using a head pin um, that's already pre-made, and I just slide the bead right onto it. And I'm grabbing my round nose pliers. I'm going to hold the head pin with my round nose pliers just above the bead, just leaving a little bit of room. This is slightly awkward because this butterfly has wings that come up higher on the sides, but we're just going to deal with it. And then just bend the wire around your round nose pliers, forming a loop, kind of like we just did with the side drill bead. And now I'm grabbing my chain nose pliers. I'm going to hold that loop in my chain nose pliers and wrap around once and straighten out the loop so it's on top and not off to the side of the bead. And then I'm just going to switch hands and wrap around a few more times. I'm using bent nose pliers. Um, if you can, just use your fingers. You can feel free to do that. This gauge of this head pin is kind of stiff. So I go around a few times and then trim off any excess wire, making a flush cut. And then come back in with your chain nose pliers and make sure that end is not poking out. Like I said, it's a little awkward with this butterfly shape just because, because the wings kind of come up higher on the sides, um, but it's fine. And then it's kind of fun because the butterfly spins around. <laughs> so that is a uh, wire wrapped head pin, or I like to call it a bead dangle. So we're basically making this butterfly into a little charm. Um, so repeat that for however many of those sorts of beads you're using. Okay, so now I have all my beads ready. I have my flowers. I did my little leaf. I wire wrapped it just like I wire wrapped the flowers. So because it's just another side drilled bead, 
and then I did my two butterflies. So now we can start putting this all together. So first I wanted to show you how to open and close a jump ring just in case you don't already know how to do that. So you'll need your bent nose pliers and your chain nose pliers or some other um, flat pliers that are flat on the inside so not your round nose pliers. And you want to find a little slit that is in the jump ring and then you want to um, center the slit in between your two pl pair of pliers and then you just go forward with one pair backward with the other um, you don't want to open up out just kind of back and front and try to maintain the circular shape of the jump ring that way it goes back closed again easily um, but you see it's open but it's still kind of a circle and then to close you just do the opposite and I just like to go past the point of closing a couple of times and then you'll quite often hear or feel um, a little click when it clicks into place. So that is how you open and close a jump ring. So open up as many jump rings as you need um, to attach all your beads and um, then two extra to attach your clasp to your chain. Okay, so I have all my jump rings I need opened and I have my beads here and now we're going to start attaching them to the toggle piece. Um, so this is the round portion of a clasp and so we're just going to simply add the beads to this clasp um, using jump rings and we're going to go use the large circle. This small circle is what we'll attach the clasp to the chain with so we just want to add um, things to the large circle so we're just going to start and you just place the jump ring around the toggle and then you place a bead onto the jump ring and then just close the jump ring and it's just going to continue doing that. So you can either add things just around the toggle, so just keep adding jump rings to the clasp itself, or you can kind of make a little, um, make it a little bit longer by adding um, to the last jump ring. So in this case with these flowers, I just added the next open jump ring to the jump ring I just closed. And then I'm going to add another flower on the other side. And I'm just attaching it to that very first jump ring of the purple flower that I first attached. So let me show you. So I just I attached the purple flower to the toggle clasp, the jump ring, and then these two jump rings are attached to that jump ring. Okay, now I'm just going to start adding my other beads as well. So I have this leaf and I'm just going to attach that right next to the flowers, like right onto the toggle clasp. Oops. Make sure you hang on to everything. And as you're making your own necklace, you can just sort of see how things are hanging and decide like if you don't like where that is and try it in a different spot just take it back off and now I'm just going to add my butterflies I'm going to add one to this same um, jump ring that I attached the leaf with so I'm just going to add another jump ring attach that to the jump ring the leaf is on and add that there and then add the other little butterfly probably right onto this toggle clasp here this is kind of where you can get creative so we have this whole like bunch of different beads here and like I was saying you just can sort of play with it and decide exactly how you want to add your beads and make those decisions as you go along. It is an art so um, you can decide how you want to do that. So now we're just getting our chain 
on the other side of our clasp. And I'm going to use another jump ring. And in that smaller loop in the, jump, in the toggle clasp, we're going to place a jump ring and add it to the chain. And then close the jump ring. And then on the other side, we'll use the other side of the toggle clasp. Again, attaching it with a jump ring, of course. And so now we have our necklace. So you will wear this with the toggle clasp in the front. Let's get this in here. And it's a fun little spring necklace. Um, I've had enough for winter. Maybe you have too. And so this is a fun necklace to make. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I hope you found it inspiring. I hope you're inspired to make your own necklace. I invite you to come over to KimberlyKohler.com. There you will find step-by-step -step photo instructions with details of this exact necklace, but in case you miss something or you want to see pictures instead of video, it is there. And while you're there, sign up for my newsletter. My subscribers get every ECT TV episode sent to them when it's published via PDF. So you can easily save the tutorial or print it and take it to your work table if that's what you want to do. So when you sign up, the next episode that comes out, you will get via PDF. You also get my free intro to jewelry making e-course. It's 14 days of little tiny mini lessons that you get in your inbox each day for 14 days. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you again in a couple of weeks.